there, this is Megan from Party Hive Creations and today we are going to be talking about how to cut out an image so that you can place it on any kind of backdrop you'd like. So right now I've, I've just opened up this file of this little stickman baseball clip art. You're going to go over here to your tools and click on this lasso. And if you right click on it, it should give you these other options. And this magnetic lasso tool is the one that you're going to want. It makes it easiest in my opinion. Um, and you want to just pick somewhere to start. You're basically going to cut out around it like you would with scissors, but using this tool. So I'm going to go ahead and start right down here at the bottom of his shoe, this point. And you just click once and it starts it. And as you can see, it kind of, if I were just to move it along, it sort of just grabs whatever it can find, whatever edge. Now this is obviously really messy, but I'm just kind of showing you what it does. Um, I'm going to click off of it. Okay, I'm going to start over. You're just going to click and then go up to the next point or before it changes direction and click again. And I go to the next one and I can, it'll pretty well follow this curve of his shoe. So I wait till I get to another point and another one. And you just keep going, keep clicking here and there. This method won't be perfect, but it will be very close. And you gotta be real careful when you get to an area right here where it could hook on to a different line. It could jump from the shirt to the wooden bat here because it's so close. This is where it always gets tricky. You don't want to mess up clear at the end because once you, if you mess up here, you've got to start over. Okay, and then once you get back to the beginning, you just click that initial little square and notice it'll put the marching ants all around the figure. And then you're able to go up here to your move tool and see how it puts little scissors by your pointer you can click it and drag it. Just control, I'll just do Command T and hold the Shift key as I drag it to resize it. Okay, and you click OK. And then you'll see if I click on my background over here on the right, um, I can color it whatever I want. So if I want it to be black, um, Go to my paint bucket tool, which is under your gradient tool menu here. And I can just click it. And then the only thing that's still here that's not been cut out is this little area right here. And now I really probably wouldn't want to do black as you see his little arms are black and his little legs are and they get kind of lost. So if I couldn't do black, I would want to do maybe a gray. And then that way you can just click on the layer of the baseball player and click inside right there. And there you have it. Now you'll see it's not perfect. Um, like down here, you'll see a little white here. Um, in the shoelaces here, you can see the white because we didn't cut that out, which you can easily, if I zoom in here, you can easily just fill that in with the gray background if that's what's supposed to be there. Um, 
Um, and you'll see just little white chunks here and there because like I said, it's not perfect. Um, and so one thing you can do is there's an option to go up here to layer and then you go to matting and you do defringe. And you can choose how many pixels you want it to go in. I'll just do, I'll just do maybe two pixels. So I click okay and it takes a little bit more of it away. If you notice, there's a little bit of a white outline kind of all around his body in some areas here. And when I do the defringe, it takes some of it away. You can also go in here with an eraser tool. After you defringe it, if you still see some areas that are kind of problem areas, go to the eraser tool right here and make sure that the opacity is 100% and make sure the hardness is 100% also. Um, and then obviously we don't need it to be 200 pixels and we just need a small eraser. This might even be too big in some areas but you can um, zoom in a little more if you feel more comfortable seeing it closer. And you can actually push the little bracket buttons um, on your keyboard to adjust the size to go low, like smaller like this. You can do that to kind of get rid of the white. Um, This is if you really care. In some instances I care and others I don't really care. Don't really care about some of that. Uh, maybe on his ear here. Um, up here, this seemed to be a little bit more obvious this little section and just be careful how you use your little eraser tool. Uh, let's see right here. Right here I noticed this one was really noticeable. Just clean it up. Okay, and if you zoom back out, I mean, that looks pretty good. I'd be pretty happy with that. Disney princess ones, these ones can be pretty easy. Um, some of these ones you have to be careful because your tool will want to grab sometimes the like the shadowing down here underneath the princess. Um, you want to do something that has kind of clean lines. Right here, Merida, she might be kind of hard because of her, her hair, how it kind of is a little bit more wild. Whereas Rapunzel, her hair is very straight and clean lines on the outer edge because she doesn't have that curl. So that will make it a little bit easier. Um, but that's kind of my favorite way to do it, just by cutting out with this magnetic lasso. There are other methods, but this is the one that I prefer to use most of the time, and it works well enough most of the time. Thanks for watching. This is Megan with Party Hive Creations. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Bye.